Y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today we're going to give this thrifted prom dress a little glow up. We're going to turn it from this to this. I'm going to show you how adding a rhinestone beaded applique can take a eh, dress to wow. Here are the supplies we're going to be using. I'm going to be using some transparent thread and hand sewing needle to apply this rhinestone applique. So I will link where I got this below and this comes on a piece of like mesh tool netting and the rhinestones are already sewn in place on it. I've got it upside down, it goes this way. So what we are going to do is we are going to pin this to the dress and then hand sew it in place. So you'll notice I'm not so worried about getting the tool mesh flat. I'm worried about getting the rhinestones in the correct place here. And these appliques normally only come in one size. So if you're working with a larger or smaller dress, they may just not extend as far out to the sides. All right, now I just need to thread my hand sewing needle and I'm going to start stitching this in place. So you're going to thread your needle and then knot the two ends of the thread together. Bring your needle up from inside the dress and then take a tiny little back stitch. And you want to create this series of tiny little back stitches on the front side right along the edge of the rhinestones, all along the edges of the applique. On the inside, you'll have a series of running stitches. You want to try to bury those in between the dress and the lining if possible. Once you have stitched all of the applique on, you've gotten close to the rhinestones all the way around, you're going to want to cut off the excess mesh. So I've got a little piece of mesh here left to cut off. And these duckbill applique scissors are helpful to do this so that they can help you not cut the dress. That big bill there helps you see what you're cutting before you cut it. So slowly and carefully, you just want to remove mesh around the rhinestones, being careful not to cut through any of your stitching. And then just double check your stitching again after you've cut the mesh off to make sure that you didn't actually cut your stitching anywhere and you're ready to go. And if you check out this playlist, I've got some more thrift flips, though none are quite as fancy as this one. 